Today we're going to do the elephant toothpaste experiment. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take this bottle, this is hydrogen peroxide, H2O2, and we're going to pour about half of this, which is about 250 milliliters, we're going to pour it into this big bottle we have right here. So hydrogen peroxide is kind of caustic, so if you do this at home, make sure that you don't spill any on yourself. That's about half, so that is good. And next we're going to use some food coloring to add some color to the experiment. My personal favorite color is blue, so today we're going to use blue. Just a few drops should be okay. You can see it turning a really nice, cool, dark blue color. What we're going to do next is we're going to add some dish soap. Liquid dish soap is the best, and we're going to add some to this mixture. Might be best to use a tablespoon. About a tablespoon's worth is a good amount. I'm gonna mix it all together one more time. That looks perfect. Next, what we're gonna do is we're going to take, you can use any small bowl, just take a little bit of bread yeast, dry yeast. Take about two tablespoons worth of dry yeast into the container. That's one, and that's two. So next what we're gonna do is we're just going to do about three tablespoons of warm water. And you're just gonna mix that all together very lightly. Little bit more smooth. So now you can see it's almost the paste. It's gonna thick like it was before. And next comes the big part. We're gonna pour this inside of our blue bottle. Pretty interesting, it should happen. Yourself. How it's curling around, that is why we call it toothpaste. Oh. You hold it in your hand, it's warm. Not just warm, it's pretty hot actually. Really? <laughs> but 